Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. Come your way from Anaheim, California for the Elimination Chamber. But tonight, we are live from a city rich in wrestling history. Memphis, Tennessee plays host to the final Friday Night Smackdown before the final pay-per-view on the road to WrestleMania, the Elimination Chamber. And in your main event tonight, the final two spots for the Men's Elimination Chamber match will be determined in a tag team bout. LA Knight and Robert Roode take on Jeff Hardy and a partner of his choosing. The winning team receives the final two spots in the number one contenders world championship elimination chamber this Sunday. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Well, we kick things off tonight from Memphis with a Cruiserweight Championship matchup. One half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo, earned this opportunity last week by defeating Akira Tozawa. Rey Mysterio looking to be a defending champion yet again to kick us off here on Friday Night SmackDown. Should be a great matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship. Rey's second defense in this title run. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be live this Sunday night from Anaheim, California, the Honda Center, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is a live premiere right here on No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Your final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania, the Elimination Chamber. Not one, but two Elimination Chamber matches signed, one for the men and one for the women of Monday Night Raw. It's gonna be a huge night this Sunday in Anaheim, but we are getting set to kick things off from Memphis. Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo going in alone tonight as he's got the opportunity of a lifetime against the master of the 619, the reigning, defending, cruiserweight champion of the world, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio won the gold back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble, ending the reign of the one and only Ricochet. Went on to defend the gold in a Royal Rumble rematch in the SmackDown after the Rumble against Ricochet yet again. And Al Ray puts the title up for the second time in this reign against Humberto Carrillo tonight on SmackDown. And Mysterio has been on a roll for months here on Friday Night SmackDown. Owns wins over Shelton Benjamin, The Miz, Roderick Strong, Ricochet. Will Humberto Carrillo be next on that list? Rey Mysterio wants to be a defending champion on the road to WrestleMania. We've been talking about it for weeks, but tensions are running high in the Raw and SmackDown locker room. Everybody looking to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all. And being a champion certainly is going to put your name on the marquee come Tampa Bay, Florida at the show of shows WrestleMania. Wins and losses matter around these parts, and they certainly matter when the Cruiserweight Championship of the world is on the line. It's going to be a very Elimination Chamber implication night here in Memphis on the road to Anaheim this Sunday. We are set to kick things off. Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo, the new number one contender, set to challenge the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo. And introducing the champion from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Ray
Rey Mysterio taking a look at the gold that he won back on New Year's night. But will he be handing over the gold for the final time in this championship reign? This is how you kick off the final Friday Night SmackDown before this Sunday's Elimination Chamber. High stakes, high reward matchup for that prestigious gold. Here we go, Humberto Carrillo, Rey Mysterio, one-on-one -on -one for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World on Friday Night SmackDown. It's gonna be a hot and heavy night still to come in your main event. The final two spots inside the Elimination Chamber for SmackDown this Sunday will be determined. Jeff Hardy and a partner of Jeff Hardy's choosing take on Robert Roode and LA Knight. A tag team matchup will decide those final two spots. It'll be a big main event coming up later. Can't wait to see who Jeff Hardy's gonna to choose to stand by his side in the Elimination Chamber qualifier. Right now, Rey Mysterio taking the fight to Humberto Carrillo. Carrillo again defeated Akira Tozawa last week here on SmackDown. Rey Mysterio saw that victory, decided he wants to be a defending champion. Bel Humberto earned it, and I was giving Carrillo a championship opportunity here tonight. Mysterio, though, not looking to relinquish the gold just yet. Beautiful arm drag, vintage by the master of the 619. Into the cover, trying to retain the gold too early, though. One half of Los Lotharios getting the shoulder up. Angel Garza not out in his cousin's corner tonight. Humberto going in alone in this Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Wants to earn it the right way. You got to commend Humberto Carrillo for that. Nice strength there. You got to assume that Humberto, obviously with the size and possibly the strength advantage in this matchup, certainly knows how to take it to the air. Rey Mysterio has made a career of chopping down bigger competitors. Doesn't matter the size or your strength, Rey Mysterio knows how to win. A former World Heavyweight Champion, a former United States Intercontinental Champion, Tag Team Champion, Royal Rumble match winner, and of course multiple reigns with the Cruiserweight Championship. Right off the moonsault, into the cover, a count of two, but Umberto gets the shoulder up again. Of course, Rey's son Dominic been struggling as of late. Recently here on SmackDown, he took a loss to the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. But from what I'm being told, Seth Rollins is here in Memphis tonight. And ahead of his match with Dolph Ziggler this Sunday, will be competing here tonight on SmackDown. Seth Rollins is in the building, going to be inside of that ring later tonight here on the blue brand. Rey Mysterio, nice shot there off the drop kick. And into the cover again, right trying to put this thing away. And Alberto again gets the shoulder up. Ray hasn't looked for the 619 just yet, but he's trying to feel out Humberto Carrillo, trying to see if he's even going to need the 619 to pick up the victory tonight. Putting Humberto in the top rope, Ray Mysterio knows how to take it to the air quite possibly better than anybody. One of the most famous luchadors, if not the most famous of all time. Look at this, spinning it around with that Frankensteiner. Off the top rope, immediately into the cover, but again, Humberto gets the shoulder up. Got to commend Humberto Carrillo here. Shoulder, getting the shoulder off the canvas time after time again in this matchup. Carrillo knows the opportunity that's at stake. It's not just about the Cruiserweight Championship tonight, but the WrestleMania looming. It's an opportunity to walk into the greatest stage of the ball as the Cruiserweight Champion. A springboard kick right there. Will that be all she wrote? But Mysterio gets the shoulder up. Nice count of two. Beautiful strike by Carrillo. As Humberto got Rey Mysterio in the predicament, look at this going. I thought he was going for a crippler cross face there, but look at this tying up Rey Mysterio, a bit of a crucifix into the submission. Mysterio got nowhere to go right now, not near the ropes. But look at this, trying to battle out of it, trying to use his momentum here. Rey has obviously been the aggressor for the majority of this matchup. You gotta assume that played dividends and be able to fight back on Humberto right there. Oh, now look at this, Ray, immediately, not wasting any time. No waste in motion by the Cruiserweight Champion. Going for the classic, Viva la Laza. Three amigos there. Mysterio takes down Carrillo, paying homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero. Beautiful maneuver by Ray. A loading on Carrillo and a nice shot. Porto is down and out, Ray Mysterio. Seeing if he's got what it takes to put it together here to defeat the challenger and retain the championship here tonight in Memphis, Tennessee on SmackDown. Humberto, nice counter. Oh, look at this. Spanish fly by Carrillo. And he caught Ray almost out of nowhere with that. That may be all she wrote. 
Elias Correa is not done. Hits the ropes again. Gets another springboard kick in. A little bit more momentum off that one. And that may be a knockout blow, but Mysterio gets the shoulder up and the matchup rolls on another moment. Carrillo trying to put a couple of maneuvers together to save his chances. And I was going back to that submission hold here. Ray is all kinds of tied up. And we may be about to see a new Cruiserweight Champion here tonight in Memphis on SmackDown. Mysterio's trying to hold on. Carrillo's got a locked in tight. But look at this, Ray Mysterio, he got out of it earlier. Knows what he's got to do. Gets in a position, those elbow strikes, bare elbows to the chrome dome of Humberto Carrillo. Oh, now look at this, Mysterio. Bulldog, or excuse me, DDT. Into the cover. Trying to catch him off guard, but Humberto gets the shoulder up. What a matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship. Nice DDT, Carrillo goes down again. Rey Mysterio. We're gonna pick up the pace as the Cruiserweight Champion. Humberto sidesteps him. Trying to take out the knees of Rey. Sends him into the corner. Mysterio got to get his wits about him. There's a nice counter by the Cruiserweight Champion. Look at that. Tilt to world. Takes Carrillo down. Both of these men want to walk out of Memphis, Tennessee tonight with the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship. A title that's been held by Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, Chris Jericho. So many legends over the years. Humberto is all kind of dazed right now. Rey Mysterio is trying to unload, sending Carrillo over the top rope, and down he goes. Now Mysterio, look at this, Tupe Suicida, but into the Tornado DDT to the outside. What a maneuver for the master of the 619. Rey Mysterio certainly turning the tide in this matchup. Now heading back inside the squared circle, Humberto's down, Rey Mysterio, his wheels are turning. The Cruiserweight Champion isn't done just yet. Up charging at Carrillo, nice tilt to whirl on the outside again. Now Rey back up on the apron. What has Rey got in mind here as Carrillo is on spaghetti legs on the outside. Look at Rey, springboard, moves up by the Cruiserweight Champion. Rey is putting on a showcase here tonight on SmackDown. Any means necessary to retain the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the world. Humberto trying to get back into this fight. Ray's heading to the top rope. And Ray meets Carrillo off that axe hammer. Simple but effective mover by the champion. Ray Mysterio. Humberto may not have an answer for the Cruiserweight Champion right now. Ray is all over one half of Los Lotharios. Going for a double stomp, and Carrillo gets out of the way. Saving his chances of becoming the champion here tonight. This is one hell of a fight to kick us off on SmackDown. It's days before we get to the Honda Center in Anaheim for the Elimination Chamber. What a night that's going to be this Sunday. A final pay-per-view before WrestleMania. Look at that springboard. Bulldog by Ray. Ray is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Humberto Carrillo tonight. And now, oh, wait a minute. Carrillo down and out. Here comes the champion with the 619. Follows it up. Springboard. Frog splash by Ray. Into the cover. And the Cruiserweight Championship remains with the greatest mask of all time. An incredible fight to kick us off on Friday Night SmackDown tonight. Rey Mysterio leaving everything he's got inside of the ring. Credit where it's due, Humberto gave this match his all, but tonight Rey Mysterio was just operating on a completely different level than anybody in the Cruiserweight division today. What a matchup to kick us off. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio. The road to WrestleMania is looking bright for that superstar. Rey Mysterio retains the Cruiserweight Championship, but who will be next to step up to try to knock Rey atop the throne? Well, we are back live here in Memphis, Tennessee for Friday Night SmackDown, and as scheduled, the visionary the revolutionary, and most importantly, the world heavyweight champion, Seth 
freaking Rollins. Ahead of his matchup with Dolph Ziggler this Sunday is set for action here on Friday Night SmackDown. Rollins has been on a roll of top Friday nights for weeks, for months I should say, and he ain't looking to slow down anytime soon. But this Sunday night at the Honda Center in Anaheim, the winner of the SmackDown Rumble a few weeks ago, the show off, the number one contender, Dolph Ziggler looks to take away Seth Rollins' WrestleMania dreams and leave Anaheim with the World Heavyweight Championship. A lot of history between those two men and most recently dating back to Friday Night SmackDown at the end of November. It was an all-star kickoff qualifier between Rollins and Ziggler, which Rollins picked up the win, but it was after the matchup that really set the tone for where we are today. Rollins laid out Dolph Ziggler, just looking to send a message to the Friday Night SmackDown locker room. Dolph Ziggler never forgot. Dolph Ziggler has been fighting for this opportunity ever since, and after entering at number one and outlasting nine other participants, won the SmackDown Rumble a few weeks ago and gets his opportunity this Sunday. But tonight here on SmackDown, everybody stand back, because there's a hurricane coming through. The Hurricane, back at the All-Star kickoff in December, was supposed to face Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship. Unfortunately, was unable to compete due to an injury, but is back here tonight on SmackDown, and what an opportunity for the legendary Hurricane. The championship may not be on the line, but he's going one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins, and we don't need to say, but a win over a champion can absolutely put you in line for a future championship opportunity. Wait a minute, Seth Rollins trying to get the upper hand. Hurricane sidestepped it, however, and the bell has sounded. We are underway here in Memphis. The World Heavyweight Champion trying to attack the Hurricane from behind, but the superhero is having none of it. Hurricane's heading to the top, goes for the frog splash, but Rollins gets the, the knees up. Hurricane's first matchup in quite a while here due to the injury, as we mentioned. Big opportunity for Shane Hurricane Helms tonight. Superhero, one on one with the World Heavyweight Champion, but Rollins, look at this. Trying to send a message to Dolph Ziggler here tonight. Remember was last week here on SmackDown, Dolph Ziggler picking up a win over Alpha Academy's Otis. And after the matchup, Rollins reared his head and attacked Dolph Ziggler from behind. And Hurricane's taking the fight to Seth Rollins here tonight. Nice springboard there. Going for a blockbuster, but Rollins got out of the way. Hurricane's gonna give this match his all, but Rollins, of course, is the World Heavyweight Champion. and he may be operating on a completely different level than anybody in the WWE right now. Rollins ain't gonna be looking to come up short ahead of this Sunday's match with Dolph Ziggler. Last time we saw Rollins in action was a few weeks ago where he picked up a win over Dominic Mysterio. And of course, the last time the championship was on the line was on New Year's night at the Royal Rumble where Rollins and John Cena had yet another classic and Seth Rollins walked away with the victory on that night. Rollins has been unstoppable over the last few months on Friday Night SmackDown. Look at this, the Hurricane, German into the bridge. World champ gets the shoulder up. Imagine if the Hurricane can pull off the upset here tonight. It's certainly an uphill battle for the superhero, but I guess fight and crime is just in the Hurricane's repertoire. He knows how to get it done, and hell, a win over Seth Rollins may be more likely than we think. Rollins ain't having none of it. Still to come tonight here on SmackDown, of course, it is the final two spots in the Elimination Chamber on the line when LA Knight and Robert Roode team up to take on Jeff Hardy and a tag team partner of his choosing. Of course, already qualified for the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. We will see John Cena, Mustafa Ali, Finn Balor, and Drew McIntyre. The winner of said Elimination Chamber match will fight the World Heavyweight Champion at the grandest stage of the mall at WrestleMania, whether that be Seth Rollins or Dolph Ziggler. And Rollins, speaking of the champ, what a ripcord knee on the Hurricane. Hurricane is worse for wear right now, and Rollins is just beating down his opponent here tonight. Hasn't really gone for the pinfall. And going to close this thing out just yet. Rollins is looking to make a statement. 
ahead of the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. He hopes Dolph Ziggler's watching. He hopes Dolph Ziggler is scouting, trying to get any answer he can, and Rollins is trying to ensure and put the doubt in Ziggler's mind that there's no chance he's walking away of Honda Center in Anaheim as the World Heavyweight Champion. Look at Rollins for the top rope. Oh, went for the frog splash. Similar to what we saw earlier, but this time it's the Hurricane getting the knees up, and Rollins gets the wind knocked out of him. Hurricane's taking the fight to Rollins. Remember, this is, as we mentioned, Hurricane's first match in all over a month here in the WWE. Wait a minute, Rollins, look at this. Trying to steal the victory over the Hurricane. Two, three, oh, almost had it, but the Hurricane able to push him off. Hurricane's first matchup in over a month. He was on the shelf with an injury, but back here tonight, he may be fighting a little ring rust, but he also may be closer to 100% than, say, the World Heavyweight Champion. Gotta take that into account, of course, as Hurricane Man just ate those turnbuckles for dinner. Again, Seth Rollins, I mean, we've seen a couple of pinfalls throughout this matchup. He is really doing a number on the Hurricane. A Rollins trying to go for that pedigree, and he hits it flush. Into the cover, and that's gonna be all she wrote here. No! The superhero, the Hurricane, is fighting crime no matter the cause. A shoulder up, and Seth Rollins is pissed. Seth Rollins unloading on the Hurricane, goes for the knee, and Hurricane gets out of the way. Hurricane may be on the verge of the upset of a lifetime here. Well, Rollins is having none of it. The world champion is pissed off right now that the Hurricane kicked out of the pedigree, and Rollins is looking to embarrass the superhero tonight on SmackDown. Hurricane has got to get his wits about him. There he is right there. Now Rollins with the counter. I don't think Seth Rollins expected this much fight out of the Hurricane tonight. May have underestimated his opponent, and it may come back to haunt the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this, Hurricane! Third up breaker! Into the cover! He's gonna do it! The upset of a lifetime, and Rollins gets the shoulder up. Oh my goodness! The Hurricane was half a second away. What an upset that would have been if the Hurricane defeated the World Heavyweight Champion. And that vertebraker was almost all she wrote. And the Hurricane has still got fight left in him. This dude is all over Seth Rollins tonight. Oh, Rollins goes behind. Oh, Rollins again off the counter, stacking up the Hurricane dead center of the ring. And the World Champion stole the victory. Seth Rollins walking away from Memphis with a victory tonight by hook or by crook. He may have had some hands on the tights, but I think he underestimated the Hurricane. I don't think he expected that fight out of Hurricane Helms tonight on SmackDown. That was almost an upset there. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. Yeah, yeah I think the Hurricane's complaining to the ref that Seth had the, had the hands on the tights, but nonetheless, what a fight. Unexpected, but at the end of the day, the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins picks up the victory, and he is full steam ahead to Anaheim this Sunday to defend the championship against the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. Well, the action continues tonight on SmackDown in Memphis. It's a tag team affair between Imperium taking on Isaiah Swerve Scott and Wesley, plus Legado Del Fantasma, Santos Escobar versus Lucha House Parties, Kalisto. And the results of those contests see Fabian Eichner and Marcel Barthel of Imperium taking on Wesley and Swerve Scott with the win. Plus, Legado Del Fantasma, Santos Escobar continues his momentum as of late with a big time victory tonight in Memphis over Lucha House Party Kalisto here on SmackDown. Before we get to our main event, the number one contender for the United States Championship this Sunday is set for action. The King of Strong Style will go one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley this Sunday night in Anaheim for the United States Heavyweight Championship. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nakamura's opponent tonight, Montel Vontavious Porter, Lashley's man, MVP attacking Nakamura from behind. 
Well, this is a scheduled matchup, but MVP's trying to get one up on Nakamura. Nakamura having none of it. On oh, MVP, look, oh, running away from Nakamura. Class act MVP. Well, this is a, a scheduled matchup, and we are underway here on SmackDown. The number one contender for the United States Championship this Sunday, Shinsuke Nakamura, goes one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Lashley's manager, Bobby Lashley's friend, MVP. Been a while since MVP's been in action, a rare occurrence, but nonetheless, looking to do one good for Lashley tonight. And evidently, trying to hurt Nakamura before the Elimination Chamber this Sunday night. Down goes the number one contender. This could be an early victory for MVP. Looking to go home early, but Nakamura gets the shoulder up. Nakamura picked up a win against Elias recently here on SmackDown. Remember, it was Bobby Lashley with an emphatic victory over Rick Boogs, Nakamura's buddy. Recently here on SmackDown as well, which kind of set off Nakamura to wanting to get his crack at Lashley. Thanks to that win over Elias, Nakamura was awarded the number one contendership. And it will be Shinsuke Nakamura versus Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship this Sunday night at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Nakamura unloading on MVP here. Still hasn't even taken the jacket off just yet. But after MVP jumped him from behind, Nakamura has got a fire under his ass tonight. Oh, man, what a kick to the side of the head. Shinsuke Nakamura trying to send a message to the almighty United States champion ahead of the Elimination Chamber. Nakamura in control in this contest over MVP right now. MVP himself, a former United States champion here in the WWE. Also former WWE Tag Team Champion as well. At one point in time, MVP was the longest reigning United States champion, as he would say, in Friday Night SmackDown history. That's where MVP would love for Bobby Lashley to be the one to break that record. Nakamura, however, into the cover. MVP gets the shoulder up, trying to not allow Nakamura to build any more momentum towards the chamber. MVP can definitely derail some of Nakamura's recent momentum tonight and get into the mind game, play into the psyche of the King of Strong Style. Anything to throw off the challenger before he faces MVP's man, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, that was a big super kick from MVP. MVP, he might not wrestle as often anymore, but when he's in there, he's going to give you a fight. Former champion for a reason, one of the hardest hitters in WWE, and I dare I say one of the toughest in WWE. MVP knows how to get it done from bell to bell. It's one of the reasons Lashley keeps him around to use him for his knowledge, but Nakamura ain't interested. Knee to face leads to a one, two, three. Nakamura picks up the victory here tonight on SmackDown. Well, MVP tried getting the upper hand, but I think it might have only ticked off Nakamura that much more. And the King of Strong Style picks up the victory here in Memphis. Here is your winner. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Are we looking at the next United States Champion this Sunday on pay-per-view? This Sunday night, it is a live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, Honda Center, Anaheim, California, the Elimination Chamber. From Monday Night Raw, the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line, and this has certainly turned into a personal issue, a grudge match between the undefeated Karrion Cross one-on-one with the champion, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. The man we just saw victorious in that ring, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, goes 1v1 with the almighty Bobby Lashley. And the chance to walk into WrestleMania as the United States Champion is up for grabs. The New Day have had DIY's number as of late, but DIY owns a tag team victory over Kofi and Xavier Woods back in the tag team eliminator prior to the Royal Rumble. Who will walk out of the Elimination Chamber with the tag team gold? Who will be the women's champion of the world come WrestleMania is the number one contender and the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox. Is it going to be her night or will the Empress of Tomorrow continue on as champion?
the Friday Night Smackdown main event. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Seth freaking Rollins versus Dolph Ziggler, the visionary, the show off, one on one for the big gold. The Monday Night Raw main event comes to you with Mr. Monday Night Rob Van Dam going 1v1 with the Apex Predator, the Viper. Randy Orton, the winner defends the WWE Championship against Matt Riddle in the main event of WrestleMania. One of two Elimination Chamber matches features six top women from Monday Night Raw with the opportunity to fight other Oscar Tegan Knox at the show of shows. Ripley, Gonzalez, Becky, Bailey, Bianca, and Shotzi, who's going to WrestleMania? And of course, it is the World Heavyweight Championship number one contenders Elimination Chamber match, Mustafa Ali. Finn Balor, Drew McIntyre, and John Cena. Two more spots to be determined up next. Who will fight either Dolph Ziggler or Seth Rollins for the gold in Tampa Bay? But it's time to decide those final two spots inside the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. It is a tag team affair in your main event of Friday Night SmackDown. And certainly a second chance for this man, the defiant LA Knight who had come up short in an Elimination Chamber qualifying match against Drew McIntyre a few weeks ago, but has a second chance, as we mentioned, at a crack at glory. LA Knight and Robert Roode looking to punch their ticket to the Elimination Chamber, but the caveat is they know their opponent will be Jeff Hardy, but who will be at Jeff Hardy's side? That is one thing they cannot scout, and that is one thing that will certainly throw off the strategy no matter who the man is for LA Knight and Robert Roode tonight on SmackDown. And of course, as you just saw, the winners of this matchup will join John Cena, Mustafa Ali, Finn Balor, and Drew McIntyre in the main event this Sunday at the Elimination Chamber. It's a number one contenders matchup. The winner will challenge the winner of the Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler match at WrestleMania. Cannot wait to get to this Sunday in Anaheim. Cannot wait to get to Tampa Bay, Florida for WrestleMania. But we got to focus in on Memphis tonight. The defiant LA Knight awaits his tag team partner, the glorious Robert Roode is in the house. Robert Roode was one of four men to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship back on December the 9th in Las Vegas at the SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. Coming up short on that night, but as we mentioned with LA Knight, same thing goes for Roode, a second chance at glory a chance to walk in to the show of shows, the showcase of the immortals, the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania, and challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. Robert Roode's already coming out here draped in gold. Imagine the big gold belt around the waist of SmackDown's most glorious superstar, a former NXT, or excuse me, NXT champion, as well as a former WWE tag team champion. Former United States champion as well is Robert Roode. But now he sets his sight on the World Heavyweight Championship. But the only way to get that opportunity is to get through the tag team match tonight. Who is going to be Jeff Hardy's tag team partner? We're going to find out in moments here in Memphis. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, Elimination Chamber is a live premiere. 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday, January 22nd, 2023. Not going to want to miss it. Eight huge matches signed, as you just saw, and it is our final pay-per-view before we get to WrestleMania at the end of February. LA Knight and Rude set for action, and here comes opponent number one. A man who knows a lot about that World Heavyweight Championship. He held it not once but twice in his career. A decorated future Hall of Famer in the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. He has been inside the Elimination Chamber before. He has done death-defying things inside of that structure, and he wants to do it again this Sunday night in Anaheim. I'm sure Jeff Hardy scavenged the locker room. I'm sure everybody who was looking for an opportunity was looking to join up with Jeff Hardy. But who did Jeff Hardy decide to stand by his side and give that opportunity to? At the same time, Jeff Hardy, I'm sure, wants to pick a tag team partner who is going to help aid him in getting to the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. Very interesting situation tonight. 
in your Friday Night SmackDown main event from Memphis, Tennessee. A rich wrestling town back in the day continues to be here in 2023. And they are in for a treat, a very high stakes, high reward main event. What a great night it's been here on SmackDown. Rey Mysterio retaining the Cruiserweight Championship over Alberto, Alberto Carrillo to kick us off. Incredible opening contest. And we focus in on your main event. Who is standing by the side of Jeff Hardy? Uh, wait, wait a minute. Well, well, we already saw this man earlier tonight, but looks like Jeff Hardy went back to his roots. He got an old friend, one of his best friends. The Hurricane is back here in Memphis for the second time tonight and is about to compete yet again. Well, how the Hurricane, less than an hour ago, took Seth Rollins, the World Heavyweight Champion, to the limit here on SmackDown. And whether it was prior to that matchup or afterwards, Jeff Hardy wanted to give his best friend a shot. Hell, the Hurricane, we saw what he did earlier tonight. Imagine if this man could win the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. He could possibly fight Seth Rollins again at WrestleMania, and this time, win the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, this is an interesting turn of events here on SmackDown, but it is the final Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. Tag Team Affair, the winning team, gets the final two spots this Sunday night in Anaheim. Jeff Hardy and his chosen tag team partner, The Hurricane, versus LA Knight and Robert Roode. And Jeff Hardy went back to his roots, getting one of his old time friends, one of his best friends in The Hurricane, and giving him another opportunity to shine here tonight. The night of his return, Memphis has been taken over by the superhero, the Hurricane tonight, as Jeff Hardy's bringing the fight to the defiant LA Knight. John Cena, Drew McIntyre, Mustafa Ali, and Finn Balor are gonna be looking on, trying to figure out who the final two men will be inside the Elimination Chamber for a spot to fight either Dolph Ziggler or Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. The top stars of Friday Night SmackDown, everybody wants their opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. LA Knight trying to get the momentum in his corner. Again, this is a really second chance for LA Knight on the road to the Elimination Chamber. Came up short in the qualifier versus Drew McIntyre a few weeks back, but tonight teams with Robert Roode and has another chance to step inside that unpredictable and unforgiving structure this Sunday. Jeff Hardy on their hand. Trying to make sure that ain't gonna happen. Goes for a shot, LA Knight dodges it, and now Knight driving Jeff Hardy down to the canvas below. Under the cover, looking to pick up the victory, but Hardy gets the shoulder up. Jeff Hardy was a participant in the SmackDown Rumble as well as the 30-man Royal Rumble. In recent weeks, came in at entrance number one in the Royal Rumble. Lasted a good chunk of time, but unfortunately came up short, and was entrance number two in the SmackDown Rumble. It was eliminated by Dolph Ziggler, the man who went on to win that matchup. And Jeff Hardy with an opportunity himself to get back into the World Heavyweight Championship picture, but Robert Roode trying to make sure that isn't happening on his accord. There's a hurricane in to break things up, and you know, the hurricane, even though Jeff Hardy wants to give his, his old friend an opportunity, his hurricane gets sent to the outside. Wait a minute, Jeff Hardy stacking up Robert Roode, trying to steal the victory early on, not just yet. Jeff Hardy trying to spread the love to an old friend, but you gotta wonder the condition of the Hurricane. He took Seth Rollins to the limit earlier tonight, but Rollins definitely did a number on Hurricane Helms. There's no way the Hurricane's coming to this matchup 100% after that matchup with the world champion, so how much is he gonna play a factor into this Elimination Chamber qualifying match? Did Jeff Hardy make the right decision choosing the Hurricane to stand by his side? Nonetheless, Jeff Hardy whipping Robert Roode off. A nice clothesline there by the charismatic Enigma. Now we should have known Jeff Hardy came out here rocking the green. Just a prelude to choosing the superhero of the Hurricane. And now tags in the Hurricane. Let's see what the Hurricane still got left in the tank after his fight with Rollins earlier. Look at the double team by Hardy and Hurricane. Into the cover. Down goes LA Knight by courtesy of Jeff Hardy. Not just yet, but the Hurricane trying to get that early victory over Robert Roode. 
Whatever Hurricane's got left in the tank, if he brings the fight, there's another cover. If he brings the fight to Rude and LA Knight the same way he brung to Seth Rollins earlier, Hurricane very well may play, and may pay him and Jeff Hardy dividends into qualifying for the Elimination Chamber. Hurricane trying to get that boot on the glorious Robert Rude. Rude having none of it. Rude heading up to the top rope. A show he's not the only one that can go high risk it. What a missile drop kick. And it's moves like that that are really going to test the endurance of the Hurricane in this matchup after there's fight with Seth Rollins earlier. Hurricane is going to have to dig down deep, reach down and grab some of that intestinal fortitude to survive in this tag team main event. Oh my God, what a shot to LA Knight. That's a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Friday. And now following up with a couple of kicks, make it three. Unloading on the Defiant Knight, but LA Knight not going to be embarrassed by the Hurricane. What a moonsault there by Knight. Now into the cover, looking to qualify for the chamber. Not just yet. It's a very interesting situation. LA Knight wants to qualify, but with Robert Roode by his side, now he knows he's going to have to deal with Roode on Sunday. Same thing with Jeff Hardy, you know. Maybe he picked the Hurricane thinking that if Hurricane has enough left in the tank after his match with Seth Rollins, after he fights twice, he won't have enough in the tank to win the chamber. Maybe he can rule the Hurricane out of the elimination chamber when it comes to winning the thing. A lot of interesting strategies and mental games regarding this matchup here tonight and, of course, regarding the elimination chamber this Sunday. Every man on the SmackDown roster looking to punch their ticket to WrestleMania one way or another. And look at this, another tag team maneuver by Hardy and the Hurricane. My goodness. Driving LA Knight to the canvas below off that neck breaker. Jeff Hardy, the legal man yet again. And down goes Knight. Jeff Hardy, a former World Heavyweight Champion, a former WWE Champion, Intercontinental United States Champion, Tag Team Champion. And all the extreme death-defying moments that Jeff Hardy has provided us over the years. A future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. Now look at Knight. Maneuver on Jeff Hardy sends him down to the canvas. Tag made to Robert Roode, getting some fresh legs in here. LA Knight and Robert Roode, of course, have, I gotta assume, some more time to strategize for this matchup than Jeff Hardy did. Who knows tonight or this week, whenever it was, that Jeff Hardy chose the Hurricane to be his tag team partner. And how much did the Hurricane coming out here affect the strategy of Roode and LA Knight? But did it make it easier in their eyes? Since, oh man, what a maneuver. This Hurricane already competed. Rudolph that senton of the back into the cover. Not just yet as the Hurricane breaks things up. Helms has still got fight left in him. Two of these four men will be inside the Elimination Chamber this Sunday night in Anaheim. 5 p.m. Eastern time is a live premiere event. As the final pay-per-view on the road to WrestleMania. Down goes Rude. Hurricane Man just punched his ticket. Not just yet. LA Knight in to break things up. Rude is able to get the shoulder up as well. And you gotta give credit to the Hurricane. Win, lose, or draw. This has absolutely been his night on SmackDown. Rude tagging in LA Knight once again, getting the fresh legs in here. We took some offense from Hurricane and Hardy there. Not sure how much he's got left in the tank in this matchup. And now LA Knight with Hurricane up in the air. Driving Hurricane face first in the turnbuckle. Again, Mustafa Ali, Finn Balor, Drew McIntyre, John Cena, and the winner of this matchup. Those will be your six participants in the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. The winner will fight the winner of Sunday's match between Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. So by the time Elimination Chamber comes and goes, oh, wait a minute! Glorious DDT by Robert Roode out of nowhere, and the Hurricane survived! The Hurricane kicked out! My God! The superhero has not found his kryptonite tonight, I'll say that for sure. Man, the Hurricane is making a believer out of everybody. The former Cruiserweight Champion, the former World Tag Team Champion, at this stage in his career, wants to win the big one. 
Man, he has survived the pedigree from Seth Rollins. Rollins had to use the tights to win against the Hurricane earlier tonight. Absolutely underestimated the man. And now Robert Roode's going to be shocked after the Hurricane kicked out of the glorious DDT. The superhero is looking to fly. He's heading to the top rope tag made to LA Knight. And here comes Helms off the crossbody. Man, Helms might be not only going to Elimination Chamber, this man might be going to WrestleMania. I don't know if anybody's more motivated than Hurricane here in Memphis tonight. Back up on the top rope, awaiting LA Knight to get to his feet. And here he comes, goes for the crossbody. LA Knight was able to dodge it. Another defiant Knight springboard clothesline takes Hurricane off his feet. And Hurricane is dazed, and LA Knight again dropping a knee. They have halted the momentum for good for Hurricane and Hardy. Is he going to the chamber? Not just yet. Man, what a matchup we have got here tonight. Wait a minute. LA Knight. Good night, Hurricane. Jeff Hardy in the break it up. Don't count out the team of Hardy and Hurricane. With such an opportunity hanging on the line, nobody wants to give an inch. Nobody wants to see it pass through their fingers. LA Knight lays out Hardy. Hurricane gets caught in a swinging neck breaker by the Defiant Knight. Rude is back on the apron. LA Knight has got the superhero in his grasp. Is Hurricane gonna be able to bounce back and win this thing for his team now that Jeff Hardy's out of the equation? I don't know, LA Knight's got his eyes locked and he could be looking to silence the superhero again. Tucking the arm into the cover and your final two spots for the Elimination Chamber have been determined. Man, you got to give credit where credit's due. Jeff Hardy putting up a great fight. But man, Memphis, Tennessee got a showcase of the hurricane here on SmackDown, making a believer out of everybody at this stage in his career. Giving his all, but unfortunately not able to get here the W. Here are your winners, LA Knight and Robert Roode. Well, the six men have been determined. Knight, Roode, Ali, Balor, McIntyre, Cena, one of these six men will challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. We will find out who it's going to be live at 5 p.m. this Sunday at the Elimination Chamber. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.